Hello there. General Kenobi. <laughs> All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to add social media icons to your Webflow websites. Let's do it. Create a div. Make it fixed, move it to the left side, and add 45% from the top. Let's add auto to the bottom, and a z-index of something really high. Awesome, now let's create a link block. 50 pixels wide by 50 pixels tall. The background image is gonna be the Facebook icon. Center the image, let's give it a width of 40 pixels. Actually, let's go crazy, make it 50 pixels. Give the link block a class of social share button. Then we'll make a combo class and add Facebook. I'll show you why a combo class in a minute. Now add an embed code and add this line of JavaScript. What it's doing is pulling the URL of the current page you're on and on click sharing it with Facebook. So let's update this part of the code to match our class that we made, which is social share icon and then Facebook. Now let's go to the preview site and click share. Boom, we're done. But let's keep going anyways. Now let's add a button for Twitter. We're gonna go through the exact same process. Let's add a new link block, give it the social share button class, and then a combo class of Twitter. Switch out the image to our Twitter icon. And it's looking good. Except we haven't added our embed code yet for Twitter. Let's do that now. Add an embed, copy and paste this piece of code, and voila, it's good to go. Now, depending on which social media platform you wanna share your page with, you're gonna need a special line of code to align with the way that that particular platform shares pages. So I left a link in the description which will bring you to a site that houses the code for all the major social media platforms. Awesome. The one last piece of advice I wanna give you is that once we delete these link blocks, technically these classes are not being used anywhere on the website anymore. Even though they are being pulled in through our HTML embeds, the classes are gone. So if we clean up our style sheets, which I do regularly, those classes are gonna be included. If we click remove, it will remove all the information. So an easy trick to make sure that you don't accidentally delete those is to add them to a div block and then hide that div block on any page. I do it on my privacy policy page. That way they'll be safe from being sucked into the black hole that is the cleanup button. Also, make sure you make the proper adjustments for mobile devices as the current setup is gonna be a bit annoying if you enter the site on a phone. But now we're done. Stay tuned because I have some cool non-tutorial videos coming out that are gonna take more of a topical approach on web design and SEO. Subscribe if you wanna see those in the future.